have Ellie. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you, Ellie. Thank where, you. Same. Where are you now? I'm in the border. I'm actually in the Mexican side, right next to San Diego. So mm -hmm. I'm like pretty much about a quarter of a mile. Is that from... Tijuana proper or an outskirt town? No, Tijuana. It's just like right after you cross from, uh, the border from San Diego to TJ, I live right there. Oh, in wow. A, yeah, sky rise in a complex. I've only been to Tijuana once. I believe you told me that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's think with this cartoon. Is there anything that you're aspiring towards or looking that you want to accomplish or do and a little visual record might be helpful? Um, Put your hand on your heart. Boom, exactly, right? Yeah. No rules um, in this moment. No rules. You know, I just want to feel free, you know, like again, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to be uh, finally maybe doing something I've been wanting to do since I was a little girl. And what's that? Uh, which, is, which is funny, but it's traveling to Greece. Always oh, yeah. had it in my mind. I don't know why. Uh, since I was little, they told me that my name uh, it's, you know, it's from background, like Greek background. And I don't know why, but I've always had that dream of being there. Mm -hmm. And I guess I'm hopefully, you know, in a month I'll be realizing or doing, you know, one of my dreams uh, of traveling and being there for a while. So I'll yeah. be there for a few months. Oh, wow. For, for several months, actually. So, um, you know, uh, a little scary because leaving everything behind to be there for a while. Mm -hmm. So, but I think it'll be all right. You know, I'll, I, I got to look at it in, a, in, a, in an awesome way. I'm a little scared, but I'm also grateful. Um, what else? I just, you know, I just want to live day by day, happy, healthy, like everybody does, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not very, not looking for a lot of, uh, oh gosh, I wish I was more, gosh, like, I don't know how to explain this, but, um, to have more thri uh, drive into being more, um, into, into, make more money and all that but i don't i don't have that drive at the moment you know of uh, of uh, making it which i should but i don't know why i don't <laughs> i don't feel it right now well just, I, I, right now i've just i think i'm getting tired i feel i, I want to be more relaxed in my life you know with little uh, i'm happy with very little let's put it that way mm -hmm. but now, um, can i ask a question sure around the drive part what do you think is the belief around that? Like when you feel like, like you don't have the drive or the will or even the ability to do these things, what's it that you're believing about yourself? Mm. You know what I mean? Because like we, like I'll explain is that sometimes that, you know, what we tell ourselves can exhaust us. You know what I mean? And, yes. you know, so we, we, you know, we get tired. I mean, like, you know, this is, this has been a hard time and we've had to dig in and find ourselves, but mm -hmm. there is a story underneath that's telling you somehow that, um, um, Maybe, and I'm, this is just me, a question. Mm -hmm. Is there something that's telling you that you can't? Like you're telling yourself you can't? Yes, exactly. Like, exactly. Like I feel I'm not, um, you know, good enough to do something or um, I, I don't, like I said, I don't have the drive to do it because mm -hmm. I feel I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be successful in doing it, which, which is weird because I noticed that I, that I can learn the things uh, fast and everything but for some reason right now I don't have that drive and and I used to like 
you know, let's do this or that or learn and study more. And right now in that place where maybe I'm exhausted of working these past three months, like super hard, Mm -hmm. you know, and and right now I feel like I need to chill down a little bit and and start over. But uh, and maybe uh, do my tennis again and, uh, you know, work out a little more and go back to that place where I was, you know, like a, like a last year or, or two years ago, you know, and, and I, um, but, but right now I feel like I, I need to relax a little more. <laughs> Maybe it's because yesterday was my last day of work, yeah. like intensively, but, but I'll, I'll be okay. Maybe tomorrow I'll feel like, you know, doing something, you know, take some classes, courses, or like, like, you know, like, um, get prepared you know to do something else but well i mean we'll okay. see. or paint even paint i haven't you know been able to paint since i moved to this uh this building because i don't have the space mm-hmm. you know to do it which i used to love and right now i haven't even touched a brush you know in in two years really uh-huh so um so that part i need to also focus on that I would love to do things like that like I used to you know well um what else what else everything else is great you know my daughters are wonderful healthy and you know coming back from you know like hanging in there as well because it's been you know the hardest part in their life since they lost their dad a year and a half ago And uh, so, you know, it's been a survival mode of, you know, in talking, you know, I mean, like uh, accepting it and everything, you know, which they do, but, but um, it's been hard. And also, you know, especially for my youngest and she doesn't express it. So it's hard for Mm -hmm. me to get it out. Um, but but they are warriors and they also are you know good good girls and they're doing their best well look at that (laughs) that's wonderful i was listening before you even said that (laughs) so we're going to have a lot in here going on with this so it's awesome so first question Mm -hmm. Uh uh-huh are you able to give yourself a break for the moment that, you know, you lost your way for a little bit, but it's temporary. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Um, maybe it's over here. Nope. It's over here. <laughs> I, put this here. I have ideas. Yeah. All right. Wow. So what we're going to do right now is make more. So, you know, you're you're a you love painting. You love tennis. Now, when when you're painting, what do you experience uh-huh. about life in general? Oh, I just like I just love to create. You know, um, I ask myself for too much when I'm painting to a place where I want everything perfect, which there's no perfection in painting because I don't do things that have to be exactly the same. It's pretty much abstract. But for mm-hmm. some reason, even if it's abstract, I, I, I need to make it perfect to my eyes. Yeah. You know, and also to people to like it, which I shouldn't be caring about others think of my art, but, but I do care because I like pretty things. You know, I like, things that people enjoy you know no weird stuff or or something what's weird uh, stuff do you mean yeah weird stuff for me i don't know weird stuff for me it's weird i don't know how to explain it uh dark stuff i don't like to create dark even if i'm not feeling amazing at the moment i don't like to create dark uh, to uh, dark places you know dark moments or things like that i just want to go against that you know mm-hmm. and and, tr- and try to create something um livable happy uh, something w- when you see it gives you warm and, and happiness and put you in a good place 
or place with light. You know, even if you are in a dark place at the moment, I don't like to create that. And, um, uh, you know, it, and makes me makes me happy, you know, when when I do that, you know, and, and that somebody likes one of my pieces. It just, uh, you know, makes me gives me com uh, com com comfort. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because your gift is being appreciated? I think so. Yeah, I like to, to feel appreciated. You know, mm -hmm. I, li I like that. I like that people enjoy something that I did for them. or uh, and, I, and I like the feeling of being appreciated for sure. You know? What's... I've been cooking a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Changing. Notes. I'm sorry, you were going to ask me something. No, go ahead. No, I, I was saying that uh, I used to cook a lot way back and then I, I didn't, I stopped, I quit, I, I didn't want to do it anymore. And now I'm back in cooking and enjoying that part of, as well, which I love to do that. But the same, I like to get appreciation for it for some reason. When I do it, I, I enjoy people telling me that they like it, you know, and that they like yeah everything about it, you know the way it looks and the way it tastes um i don't know maybe i just uh, want to always feel uh, appreciated <laughs> mm -hmm. um i don't know if it's good or bad because then what happens if they don't you know then i, I don't feel good or i feel in a bad bad place or have, have you ever looked at something and thought, oh, I don't like that, but it really doesn't affect anything, you just your opinion? Like when you're saying you're looking at art or something like that, I go, oh, yeah, that's, I'm not really, I'm not really liking this too much. Uh -huh. Something that, I, that I'm creating or someone else's? Someone else's stuff. Oh, someone else's? Uh, no, I, 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 yeah, I could definitely say I don't like it, and mm -hmm. but don't don't bother me. No. And is and is it okay that you don't like it? Uh, I mean, like literally, like if you look, think about it, is uh -huh. it does it really affect the person or or life or you when the something doesn't you know correspond with your taste? And is, is it personal? Yeah, it gets, per uh, you mean like if they don't agree with one of my arts or one or, of my cooking or something, if it affects or, me? Yeah, or or they, yeah. or you don't like their stuff. Uh -huh. You know, is it that um, important that, that you like it or not like it or? I mean, I don't know if, uh, if it's important or not. I don't, uh, but I. I if they ask for my opinion, I try not to also hurt their feelings because I feel I, I would feel the same if they tell me. But there's depends, you know. There's some people that they like um, criticism; they accept it openly, and some others that they don't at all. So you have to be very careful who you tell. You know, if I don't, you know, if I don't need to tell them and I don't like it, I, I will say it to myself. I don't like this, you know at all or something but i won't i won't tell them direct you know no Only but I guess what i'm yeah. saying is that you know you want to feel free to have your opinion about something right where it, yes. and it's just uh -huh. just for you for your own personal taste uh -huh. you know True. and and it's okay because i mean you don't want to you don't you're not looking to hurt anybody you just uh -huh. i don't like this <laughs> correct, correct right and uh -huh. and what i'm saying is can you allow the freedom for you not to like something and allow others to feel free not to like what you've done but it's not personal mm -hmm. correct you know well i yeah you're right i should i should allow that you know uh, and that'll make me you know better to have that freedom i would feel free mm -hmm. to express and also to accept criticism right yeah and and i will be that, open i will be open to do that you know to 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 accept that but 
but um, I don't know if it's uh, that time of my you know, where I am right now, my age and everything that I get um, uh, really emotional <laughs> for little stuff. Yeah, and you know, if I do something wrong, I take it it hurts and everything but then I I move on you know I don't stay there I do move on but it 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 hurts uh, something like criticism let's say at work or something Uh, I it it hurts me it bothers me but Mm -hmm. uh, I try to move on in a few months in I'm sorry in a few minutes you know Mm -hmm. like not not few months in a few minutes like I don't I don't stay there other because it hurts, you know, it, it, it bothers me to, to, but, but I do accept criticism, but it hurts me and bothers me, but I try to move on in, as soon as possible because I don't like to be in that place. Tell me who, tell me when you receive like praise for your artwork, like where people, maybe you didn't think much of it, but people were like blown away. Mm-hmm. Mm. You a time like that? Can you tell me something about that? Uh, yeah, I have a, a, a painting that, as a matter of fact, I, I have it with me. I didn't sell it, but everybody loved it. You know, like a lot of people loved it and everything for me was, eh, it was okay and everything, but um, uh, it was actually one of my first pieces, you know, that I painted. Mm-hmm. So I kept it, and um, and uh, and for me, it was like, oh, okay, whatever. But but at the same time, I felt I felt proud of it because you know it 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 was uh, a lot of work on it, so it made me feel really good, you know. And but I didn't think too much about it, and that's when everybody started telling me, you know, you should look up into being in a gallery and. Uh, different galleries because that's good 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 stuff you know and I and I didn't know it was you know possible or I didn't think it was enough you know to to be somewhere you know to be uh, exposing my my paintings or my art but uh, but it felt good Mm -hmm. so basically the whole disconnect was your opinion about everything I again repeat it. So the disconnect was when you realized that your opinion is what really was in the way. And people uh-huh. had an opinion that was contrary to yours, where actually Correct. they were totally in love with your piece, but you at that time didn't see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and exactly. I didn't give her, uh, give myself a little credit for it. You know, mm-hmm. I was like, no, 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 it's not possible. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh my God. It's so lovely. Well, just reflecting back some stuff that we're talking about here. <laughs> That's awesome. Just gonna fill this full of hmm. euros because really what I'm there. doing for you right now, I think it's the brown ones that are no I'm making pink. Um, <laughs> is I'll, I'll tell you something about when with what I do and I'm working spontaneously on the spot right yeah if people say that I suck they're totally correct because in they're having the experience that they don't like what I'm doing and they're right mm-hmm. if they say I'm a genius they're more correct mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly <laughs> Right. So it's, yes. it doesn't matter because like, even in that moment, I don't have to torture myself or indulge, indulge in fantasy. Well, they love me. They hate me because ultimately they're going to go on to the next thing. Like in, in that moment, you're having an experience, yeah. you know, you're an emotional person, correct? Uh-huh. And you're having an experience. And when that experience is done, you're on to the next thing. And the old thing sure. doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. So you said other, you want others to set you free to have that experience. So you don't have to, you know, go back and deal with it again and again. And you might not mean anything personally, but just in that emotional wave, you're like, you know, that Correct. experience. 
And so mm-hmm. you give others the freedom for it. Sure. You can sure. give yourself the freedom. And then it takes away a lot of mental stuff that prevents um, um, just enjoying the moment of the creation instead of like mm-hmm. trying to mm-hmm. get it right. True, a bit true. Closer here. You're right. totally right. Uh-huh. I'll ask you that right here. Pew, pew. And <laughs> I'm just going to make this here a little bit more glittery. So I'm having you painting in wow. Greece, your own little marketplace oh, there in, awesome. in the background. Oh my God, that's unbelievable. I love it. And sometimes what, that. what you do where it may mm-hmm. not be appreciated in one spot, you may be truly celebrated in another and you don't know. Like, you know, for me, um, you know, there are places where I've lived, where what I do is seen differently than where I'm from. Yeah. You know, Uh that's just how life is. So yes, Uh you and your showing up is like magic for others. Your work can, you're not, you're not there for the ones that don't like you. You're there for the ones whose hearts you open. True. Totally right. Yes. Oh, wow. So how does, <laughs> how does this feel, this picture? Oh, it feels liberating, just like a dream. <laughs> nice, beautiful. Oh, I'm going to put your, I'll just put Ellie, just pew. Wow. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> I can hardly see it, but it's awesome. From here. Well, I know you're on your phone, but I'll, I, I will know. send you a, a copy of send it. Send me. Yeah, send me a copy. That's awesome. I'm so, it's crazy, you know, when you talk with someone like you, because you are very open and you speak freely and, um, and you see things right away different you know just for letting someone like me speak out you know their feelings or what they're feeling in in the moment so it's very liberating and and it's like like a therapeutic is that the word (laughs) well i kind of call myself therapeuticist you know so whatever we're doing here in this moment Mm -hmm. is like um you know just just um having a conversation and i don't have to think or know something whatever just pops in i just uh-huh. use it you use it and express your also your art <laughs> in a very unique way yeah i would say well thank you well, so much for hanging with me thank, thank you for listening to me and expressing your beautiful art and and show me as a as a very cute cartoon <laughs> <laughs> uh, very well uh, so yeah it's excellent i i love your what you do so thank you I, yeah i appreciate it as well I mean, it means okay. a lot thank you thank you